So I realized I haven't been giving any time to the guys on this channel. And that's because YouTube has been recommending the women. You know, I'm just going with it. And, you know, I like the ladies. I have never been shy about that. But there is a difference between men singing and women singing. And men dancing and women dancing. There is quite a difference. <laughs> so anyways, I think it's only fair that I give some men some time. And so Triple H came up as I literally just Googled guy groups. This came up. I don't know who they are. And I don't know the song. And I don't know anything. I just wanted something. So here we go. Flashback in time with some Triple H. Is this a co-ed group? That's okay. All right. These guys have, well, everyone talks about their looks. They look so young and their skin's so perfect. No, oh, it's a co-ed group. That's okay. Anyways, I love the hair color of the guys and look at her hair color. That's awesome. I'd do that. I feel like some not New Jack City thing here, but it's like a 90s kind of groove that you'd hear on the American rap scene. Right there, that's so flashback feeling. But the video is really serious. I'm not really paying attention to the lyrics, but there's obviously something serious going on here. Uh, this is a song I could totally sit on the dance floor. I like they've given her a little bit of an edge to her voice. I picture Bobby Brown showing up at any minute. There's like some interesting things going on here. Musically, this is just really cool, kind of fun, really upbeat song. It's a feel good song. Some good singing, some nice, just laid back rapping, hip hop actually. And then we've got like wanting to commit suicide and crimes and a threesome and there's 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 things happening here. Obviously the lyrics are so fresh and I guess these folks are probably trying to live life in the moment because life is just not worth living. And it's the cliched story where they're getting into trouble versus becoming like artists or something. It's really interesting. It's really interesting. It's kind of lightweight pop with with that non-lightweight video where they do the Thelma and Louise thing at the end. Yeah, it's like... I 
This is really interesting. They make it like it's a movie. They know they're telling you a story. I like that. Hmm. Three, six, five, so fresh. That's like a catchphrase that would get stuck in your head. Obviously, this is derivative of 1990s American hip hop. Uh, you know, did I say New Jack City? I don't know if that's quite maybe the right thing. I don't know that scene so well, though it was when I was young, but... And, and so much of K-pop is derivative of a lot of American music, and I think when I first heard K-pop, that was a struggle for me, because it was like, yeah, I've heard this before. I reviewed The Wonder Girls, and it was like, this is Robert Palmer. I've seen this before. This is Baywatch meets Robert Palmer. Yet... Yet, it's derivative, but as I get into this, I find there is more to it. They add their own little feeling to it. The other thing that is really interesting, and I think this song had it, is they're trying to do more with it. It's not just, we're just going to dance, you know, like Bobby Brown's My Prerogative. No, we're going to tell you a story that's actually pretty harsh and pretty sad at the end. And also, we got dynamics with the vocals that yeah it's it's really interesting it's not just doing it in a foreign language that that to me is not i've listened to a lot of foreign language music having lived abroad but yeah it's really interesting how they update the sound almost i really think a lot of american musicians could learn a lot from k-pop though i don't know if i could see an american musician making this type of music there's just something about it maybe you could put in the comments below what is that little secret ingredient that makes K-pop, for lack of a better word, pop? Well, what gives it? Is it just that they're updating old musical styles? What is it, you think? Is it a cultural thing? I don't know. Is it like they're trying to make this old music for a dance floor or for something? I don't know. Let me know down below what you think 